We gather here today to honor a great man and his accomplishment. Congratulations, JT, on reaching 1,000 subscribers. Wow, thank you so much, Grumpy. I don't know what to say about this. I mean, I never thought I'd actually get to 1,000 subscribers. I don't even know where to start and who to thank for this. I guess I'd like to thank the Academy for nominating me for this award, and I'd like to thank you, Grumpy, for acknowledging me and... Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't get any real people to attend. This is all simulated. Hey guys, welcome to the 1000 subscriber special for Smash JT. That is an incredible amount of people. I'm actually well past 1000 right now and I'm completely blown away. I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already and you're watching this video, please consider subscribing. Check out my other videos. I think you might like them. And in this video, I also want to talk about those people who have been huge influences on how this channel got its start and got to where it is right now. First off, I gotta thank Grumpy from the Grumpy Munchkins Comedy and Gaming Channel. If you guys aren't familiar with Grumpy's channel, Go check it out now, I'll put a link down in the description. But as you can clearly see, he did the intro for this video and he does such an amazing job on his edits. But beyond his edits, he's absolutely hysterical, he talks on trendy topics, he takes kind of a counterculture approach to it, and it might not rub a lot of people the right way, but that's why I love him, because he doesn't care, he just does it for the humor. He doesn't let YouTube's policies ruin his episodes. While a lot of the things may not be politically correct, they are absolutely hysterical, and you really need to check them out. Next up, I gotta say thank you to Radical Reggie, Reggie Williams. You've been such a huge influence on this channel, especially as of late. I cannot thank you enough. If you guys for some reason are not familiar with Radical Reggie, he's part of the Metal Jesus Rocks crew, and he talks about games that a lot of people are either not familiar with, or didn't know much about because they're hidden gems, and they thought they heard about them in the past, but then nothing was ever followed up on them. He'll talk about those games and tell you why they're important and what makes them good and what makes them not good. He does a great job on educating people about games they might not know about so we can learn what the game is and if it's worth our time. Reggie, thank you so much for everything you've done for me and for everything you're doing in the YouTube community. And alongside Radical Reggie, I gotta say thank you to John Riggs from Rig Games. Now a lot of you guys already know John Riggs, he's very popular in the YouTube community. But if for some reason you're not familiar with him, he does a lot of open cart surgeries, ROM hacks, stuff that a lot of channels don't do, and even channels that do do it, they don't do it as entertaining as John does. I feel like he's in the room with me when he's talking to the camera, I feel like we're, we're buddies, I've never even met the guy before. John, you are doing such a great job over there, and I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for this channel as well. Next up, I gotta thank Chris Miller from CM Retro. CM Retro has done an incredible job in bringing the underground retro community together. He's a true leader in the space. I feel like when I first got started with YouTube, I didn't know anybody on the platform, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, and I'd put these videos together and I'd put them out there and nobody would be watching them. I did some research as to why nobody's watching my videos and they said you need to be active in the community. You need to comment on other people's pages and their channels and talk about their videos. Good comments, things that actually matter. So I watched some of Chris's videos because when I was searching for stuff, he was showing up a lot. And I'd comment on his videos because I really truly did appreciate what he did with his pickups, talking about the games, analyzing them, giving people a background on them. Did such a great job on his videos that I had to reach out to him and say, dude, I really love your stuff, thank you so much for what you're doing. And he was extremely responsive to me, always connecting back, inviting me to his live streams, has the whole community behind his back. He's got so many good people that he follows, he's so nice to new channels. CM Retro is a true leader in the YouTube community. Next up, I gotta thank Sean Long from RGT85. Sean and I met during one of Chris Miller's live streams, and after that, Sean actually saw one of my videos that talked about how the NES Classic was back in stock at Think Geek and GameStop, and then he did a response video to that, and then invited me onto a roundtable chat with him and Ryan and Wood, it was such an incredible experience, and I've learned so much from how Sean runs his episodes. I try to emulate that a lot because he does such a great job in engaging his audience and keeping up to date with almost daily information on what's going on in the gaming community. Sean, thank you so much for everything you do. And alongside with thanking Sean, I have to thank Widowhawker from Beat'em Ups. 
I met Wood through Sean, and Wood has been such an incredible influence on how I run my shows as well. He's so good with the camera, he reminds me a lot of John Riggs, how he's just chatting with the camera, makes you feel like you're in the room with him while he's talking to you. Very laid back, but yet has really good jump cuts and edits on his videos to keep the viewers engaged and really enjoying their videos a tremendous amount. Wood, you've made a huge impact on my channel, and I can't thank you enough either. I also want to thank Nintendrew. Even though I've never done anything specifically on his channel or with his channel, we've had some contact on Twitter, we've talked about the flow of an episode, what kind of topics you should engage the users with. He's so professional, and he hits topics before anyone else is even talking about them. I feel like that's one of his major strengths, and it brings people in and gets people talking about stuff that they've never even thought about talking about before. And he does it in a really fun and unique way. I really enjoy watching Nintendo's episodes and learn so much on how he runs them. So those are some channels that had a huge influence on how I run my episodes and the topics that I cover. These guys are incredible YouTubers, and if you're not subscribed to every single one of them, please go ahead and do that now. I'll put all their links in the description below. I also want to recognize a ton of other YouTubers that have less subscribers, under a thousand, and I'm going to be compiling those in a future episode. So if you feel like your channel is worth being recognized, please comment down below and I'll check it out if I'm not familiar with it. But as for right now, I want to give you guys some of my favorite moments from the Smash JT episodes I've had in the past. I'm your host, Chef Jeff. In today's episode, we're going to be making Cuphead as... In this episode, we're going to be reviewing SteamWorld Dig 2. find yourself asking women awkward questions? <laughs> Excuse me, are you gonna make me wait the accepted amount of six dates before you sleep with me? Because you're a frog on a lily pad that turns into a turtle, that turns into a dragon, and then you attach a hyperdrive to the dragon and he shoots into outer space and then you land on Mars and you're under trial. Yeah, it all makes sense. I give this game four <laughs> out of ten. So those are some of my favorite moments from previous Smash JT episodes, and I'd love to hear what stood out to you guys in all these episodes that I've made in the past. If you're new to the channel, watch some of the older episodes, and if you've been here for a while, let me know what stood out to you. Comment below with your favorite episode from Smash JT, and I will enter you in a contest to win a copy of a limited run edition sealed Night Trap for PlayStation 4. And this thing is a hard to find item, so if you guys are interested in winning Night Trap for the PlayStation 4, just comment simply what your favorite episode in Smash JT has ever been. That's all you gotta do. I'm very interested to hear what stood out to you guys that I've made in the past. I can't wait to see where the channel goes from here. And thank you all for subscribing and watching these videos. Have a good one.